you've seen a big forest, but what about a mini one? These are all giant sequoias. These are giant sequoias down through here as well. This is the seedling nursery at the Johnstein Tree Company in Northern California. And Steen Christensen makes sure these little guys start out right. There's about 60, 70,000 seedlings in here right now. Kind of just a little forest. A little forest that, when all grown up, will wage war against global warming. Trees are really important for air quality. Uh, not only are they filtering CO2 out of the air, but they're producing oxygen. And uh, we all know that we need oxygen to live. The more trees that we plant, the more carbon we lock up. That's important. Here, they grow dozens of different kinds of trees. Well, we have a few different trees that are available that we grow organically. They'll be available soon through organic style. Uh, we have red maple. Red maple is a plant that does well all across the United States, provides very nice fall color. This is the Luna tree. We also have giant sequoias. Pretty much we're the only people growing organic redwoods right now. We really like the story about Johnstein Nurseries. Johnstein Nurseries does everything in that's sustainable. So it's sustainable on production of these trees. So they're doing it in a way that doesn't harm the environment in any way. Well, that means using soil that has basically earth-based products, nothing from petroleum, uh, no chemically manufactured foods or soils. So time to plant one of these. And Christensen's getting a visit from the Dirt Diva to show us how. Okay, Steen, so I'm excited today because we are gonna plant this sweet Dawn Redwood seedling. Definitely. These are a rare redwood from China. We've uh, moistened the roots already. Yep. We've dipped it in a glass of water. They're definitely wet. Okay, and next up is do we prune a little bit of the roots? Yeah, you go ahead and root prune them. Take a little bit off the Just bottom of the roots. Just take a little bit off the bottom on a slant like that. And then I'll go ahead and add okay. some fertilizer to Good. our containers. And that's an organic, more acid, fertilizer would you say? This is an organic azalea and camellia food. And we'll place it in the center. And we want to tamp down the soil around the side of the plant right? so that there's no air space. We definitely want to water it at first like we're going to do right now. We'll go ahead and give it a okay. deep watering. And it's good to use a little bit of fish emulsion in your water. Nice, okay, good for the organic nitrogen to start product. the leaves. Yep, get them growing. Okay, all done. <laughs> Nine times out of 10, a seedling will outgrow a larger landscape tree. Most people don't know that. Uh, there's a little bit of work involved in protecting that tree when it's small and also caring for it until it gets to a decent size. And that's really kind of where we like to try to educate people in growing those seedlings themselves. It's important to know where things come from to make sure that what you're getting is something that you can live with, that we can all live with, something that actually helps. You know, a tree is a pretty good thing. A tree grown organically is even better.